the moment of truth. Oh! It's been five months since we last took up this project, and the reason why. <laughs> This old TV and radio cabinet had been sitting derelict for, well, a very long time. Apparently it's from the 1950s and it was definitely in need of some love, as you can see. So I took on the project. Stick around to see this turn from something that was ready for the bin into something that I personally want to keep for my own home. I broke the radio. I was trying to keep it so that we could see what was worth selling. The radio wasn't moving and it seems to be a little bit jammed, so I put a little bit of pressure and pushed. <laughs> uh, but I still can't figure out why it's jammed. I've unscrewed everything, I've pushed everything. Why won't it come out? <clears throat> Something here. There's, oh, there's one more screw. Right at the back here, which I couldn't see. Woohoo! Patience is the key, force is not. I'm feeling very proud of myself. Every time I think I can't accomplish something, I'm like, oh, I'll go call Leon and he can take care of it for me. But that's the third job now. I've done it on my own with no help. I think we're making very slow but very steady progress. Very slow. Okay, so that's a radio and a hammer that we've broken so far on this project. Hopefully it'll end there. Who breaks a hammer? <laughs> ah, I bent it. Can you see that it's bent? Yeah. <laughs> Don't give me the tools. I'm trying to think of an easier way to go about this, but I haven't thought of anything yet, so. Do you remember the rules? Uh. The rules are that so nothing stupid that you would see in a playground. I'd never do this. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Something I. The rule. There's only one rule, and that's that you have to use it on the dresser. Oh. Okay. Uh, these, these are the colors. So I choose here. Yeah. All the colors that I get. They're not enough. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's good, there's the orange. No! No! No orange! <laughs> It'd be really cool if you picked like a, a color that I was thinking. There's about three or four colors that. Is one of them Capri pink? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why <laughs> are you still here? I can't buy one. Oh, okay. Me and the camera can go elsewhere. Well, no, I do because I can't, I can't deal with trying to pick it anymore. It's driving me crazy. It's crazy that the orange is the nice thing. Stop! Look, you're stressing, Ria. Are they all the Yeah. So you can't go wrong. You can go wrong. I mean. No, you can uh, yeah, to me you can, but to someone else, I'm sure they'd tell you, you can't, all colours are beautiful. You know what, you can even go for the playground colours, just do what you want. You know what, I just like this colour. Are you happy with your colour? <laughs> we'll see. I am, but you might not be. gonna be funny <laughs> Leon if you got if you got something orange why are you smiling I'm so nervous the moment of truth Leon has a very big smile on his face great Really, the one you liked the most? Yeah. This is the one that I wanted. When I saw it, the first color I thought to do was dark gray, and then I kept changing my mind. This was meant to be. Yeah. Okay. You scared me a little bit thinking it might be <laughs> orange. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Now we can get painting, finally. I bought some MDF boards to cover up the inside just to give it a more clean finish. And then I primed and painted everything cream. And then next I sprayed the sides cream. Hello. <laughs> it's been maybe five months since we last took up this project. 
And the reason why is because I got very frustrated one day because the doors don't actually fit on to this cabinet, whatever we want to call it. We were like, okay, let's give it some time. We'll give it some thought. We'll try and figure it out. We thought it was the paint. So we sanded back some of the paint and tried putting it on. They just don't fit. They don't fit on properly. Uh, when we got them, one of the doors weren't actually on. And so now we have to try and put it back together. So the plan is to cut some of the door off and then just see if we can fit it in. I don't know. We're gonna try it anyways. Let's go. Do you remember what we said? <clears throat> uh, oh, this is wrong. You can see how it just doesn't fit in all the way. And that's without hinges. Yeah, and that's without the hinges on. This door is broken. There's only one regret that I actually have and that's taking away the keyholes. I don't know what I was thinking taking them away. They were stunning. I think at the start I had a completely different idea of what I wanted to go with for this piece. Anyways, I'm absolutely in love with what we did in the end. It turned out beautiful. I love it so much I want to keep it in my house but we have no space for it so it'll have to go elsewhere. And here is the result. <laughs> 